Hey everyone, today we will learn how we can add capture protection in Next.js. I will also show you how you can add capture protection for authentication in Superbase. So let's get started. First, just go to the HCAPTCHA website and then create a new account if you haven't created. Once you have created a new account, you will be given an option to create a secret key, but you don't need secret key for now. We need the site key. To get the site key, just go to sites. You will already have a site key, but you can add a new one. But I'm just gonna copy this site key and let's just go to our Nexus project. And I'm gonna store that site key in an environment variable. I'm gonna make sure that the variable name is prefixed with next public, which will make sure the variable can be accessed in the client side. We don't need this for now. And now we need to install the HCAPTCHA package. So npmi hcaptcha slash react hcaptcha. Let's install. Now I will go to the paste.js file. I have made this a client component. We don't need a server component here. And I also have a basic form for sign up, which we will use it in a minute. Let's add the hcaptcha component. So after the password, I'm going to add hcaptcha. It is coming from hcaptcha slash react hcaptcha. And we need to pass the site key. And it will be process.env.nextpublic hcaptcha site key. And when the verification will be complete, we will have the capture token. We want to store them inside a state. So let's create a state first. And let's pass the on verify prop and we will have a token as a parameter and we will call the set capture token and pass that token or you can also pass just set capture token function this will also work i will also print out the capture token so let's just run the server Let's just go to localhost 3000 and we have this uh, capture and uh, let's verify. And as you can see, we have this capture token and we can use this capture token for super base authentication. Let's see how we can do that. So let's go to Superbase dashboard and let's create a new project. Now we just need an enron key and project URL. So just copy this. And let's go to env file. I have a server.js file inside utils, then superbase. And this file actually exporting a function called create client for server, which will just create a new client, which will allow you to interact with our superbase project. So let's go to the paste.js file. And I'm gonna uncomment this email and password refs and I will attach them to email and password input. Now we can create a server action. A server action is basically a function that will be running inside our Nexus server instead of our browser. So I have a actions.js file. You have to add a use server directive to make it a server action. So let's create a signup function. It will take an object as a parameter. We are expecting capture token. 
then email and password let's create the superbase client now we need to call the sign up function from superbase the capture token should be inside options object we'll also get data if any kind of error happens we're gonna console log that and return the error otherwise we're just gonna return data and console log the data as well and let's just export the function let's go to the paste.js file you can attach sub reaction inside the form using the action prop but i'm gonna use the on submit event handler because i want to reset the captcha after the sign up and you can obviously call the server action inside an event handler so let's add the on submit prop and i will pass the handle submit function and inside the handle submit function let's call the sign up function we will pass the capture token the email and the password after the sign up i want to clear the capture so i'm gonna call the set capture function and reset the state also i will pass the capture ref to the edge capture component so ref will be edge capture ref sorry just capture ref and we need to call the reset capture function from capture ref now we need to enable capture protection in our super base project so just go to Superbase dashboard then go to authentication then attack protection and enable capture protection and here you need the capture secret so go to H capture website then go to settings and generate a new secret generate copy this and you will never see it again and put this in the dashboard over here save i will also disable email verification by default when you sign up with email and password superbase will send you an email but i don't want that for this example so just disable confirm email and save if you want to learn about email password authentication how to configure an smtp server i have an entire video about it check the link on the description now we can finally try it out I will refresh the page so let's just put an email and a simple password let's verify so verification is done let's submit and on the next year server you can see we have a session object which means sign up is successful we can also verify that on superbase dashboard so go to authentication and then users and you can see we have this new user with this email but let's just delete the user and try again without the capture i will refresh the page so email and password and let's submit we should have an error and as you can see error signing up error capture verification process failed so our capture protection is working and you can use the same logic for sign up reset password sign in and so on so for example i can just copy this line and comment the previous one and instead of sign up i'm gonna call the sign in with password function and everything will be same we will pass the email password and the capture token let's submit 
and you can see we have an error capture verification process failed so the capture protection is working for both sign in and sign up so this is how you can add edge capture in nextjs and superbase for authentication so that's it for today if the video has been helpful for you don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel it really helps me a lot and also you can check my superbase authentication and database video series i'll put the links on the description so that's it for today stay safe goodbye